Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Irashaimase! Hajimemashite! Here comes our black guy! You take these tickets back right now. No way, Lois. We're going to win. I got lots of good karma built up from doing those USO shows. So apparently they found a weapon of mass destruction. My putter. <laughs> All right, boys, go get him over there. And now please welcome Mr. Bruce Jenner. Just wanted to remind you fellas what you're all fighting for. This is awesome. Now that we're rich, our lives are going to be so much better. You sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! Right. Yeah, money! <laughs> Woo! Yes, Lois, I love fishing. Remember fishing was my not-at-all memorable job for two years? No. You don't remember my fishing boat? You don't remember Santos and Pasquale? Not even a little. They were like male consuelas. It was a mistake making them Portuguese, though. People don't even know what a Portuguese is. That's what I thought a Portuguese was. Me and my brain, huh? And we're just getting started. Not great, Lois. I'm stuck in the middle of some bad stuff with my sister. I know. It sounded like there was quite a ruckus going on over there last night. That Jeff seems like kind of a monster. Yeah, that guy's scary as an Iraq lobster. Death to America and butter sauce. Don't boil me. I'm still alive. Iraq lobster. Iraq lobster. The three of us. We go over there and we do what's right. We kill a bastard. Whoa, whoa, Quagmire. You know I could arrest you just for saying that. You know what else you can get arrested for? Soliciting a rooster. I don't know what this cock-a-doodle-do thing is, but it sounds gay and it sounds scatological. I'm in. You're about to have a neat day. No! What happened? Uh, the wind must have knocked the satellite dish loose. Oh, crap, and I was gonna watch G.I. Jose. Ah! Oh, no! You cut your forehead! What do we do? Hey, kids, if you have an open wound, get some dirt or kitty litter and rub it in there to stop the bleeding. Then get some sleep and wait for the body to heal itself. Now we know. And like I always say, remember, you know enough. Jeez, look at those two. They're going at each other like an Italian guy and a black woman. Hey, you can't park here. Excuse me? Having been officially challenged by her natural enemy, the black female prepares for combat by taking off her many rings. Meanwhile, the Italian male looks around to make sure the other Italian males are indeed seeing what he is seeing. Sensing the impending battle, a flock of Jews flies quickly away, as avoiding confrontation is their best chance for survival. You're the one who's always cooking Brussels sprouts and broccoli. It's like an Irish bar fight down there. You're from one town over, so I hate your guts. <laughs> I should be on glee. Oh my god. I just drove. <laughs> that was amazing. I can drive. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Brian's going to be so mad at me. What am I going to do? Okay, it's all right. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Unattractive women do it all the time. You look pretty today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup. Oh, uh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. Um, hey, thanks for taking me out to dinner, Ryan, but I gotta say this food looks a little weird. Oh, Peter, Moroccan food is the jizz. I don't know. Looks like it might give me the kind of farts I get from eating Mexican food. Con cuidado! 
S L Stinko. What am I going to do? I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. You guys, thanks so much for having us over. Well, we're just glad we can have people over again now that that giant crab's gone. Hey, guys, how you doing? Come on in. No, 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 no. Just go around it. He's not going to hurt you. Just go around it. No, 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 no. All right, I tried just going under him. I think we should probably just go home. Maybe we'll do it another time. No, 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 no. Okay, let's pick teams. I'll be a captain, and, uh... Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right, I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, Great Grandpa. Ah! Future old people are wizards. Peter, I think you may have had one too many. Maybe it's time to ease off, huh? What are you talking about, Lois? Dad's getting drunk on Thanksgiving is a holiday tradition. I work hard to put a cornucopia on this table, and you're out showing your lower ankle to every Tom, Tom, and other Tom in our village. Don't talk to mother in like fashion. That's it. The belt is coming off. Okay, so then I went to Europe, Australia, Canada, all over. But I really missed you guys. I wanted to be with people who love me, no matter what. So I came home. Well, it sounds to me like you're a regular Benedict Arnold Drummond. What, what's he expecting us to cut to? Uh, I think he wants maybe, I don't know, Gary Coleman in a Napoleon hat? But we don't have that. We, we gotta come up with something. Uh, well, we got, uh, we got the cowardly lion as Lindsay Lohan's gynecologist. Play it. Play it. But he didn't set it up. Play it! All right, I'm gonna check her for diseases. There's just one thing I want you to do. What's, what's that? that? Talk me out of it. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. Well, you gotta hand it to him. He had a dream and he made it happen. That's what the Wright brothers did. So, how's your boyfriend Orville doing? Ex-boyfriend, if you don't mind. And who cares? He's probably off in a barn somewhere working on a contraption with that weird brother of his. Ew. Ha-ha, <laughs> 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 bitch! You're so pretty, I miss you! Looks like a cross-dressing Cobra Commander. Who? Cobra Commander. He's the head of Cobra, the bad guys from G.I. Joe. The guys who oddly shout the name of their terrorist organization as they're attacking? Guys, we're under attack! By who? I don't know! Cobra! Oh, it's Cobra. Oh, of course. Look, they have the pictures of the snakes on their planes. Duke, what have I been saying for years? What makes a good terrorist organization? Brand recognition. Brand recognition. Dad, will you talk to Ezekiel? Will you tell him I'm not trying to corrupt his son? Please? All right, I'll do it. But don't expect any miracles. I'm not good with confrontation. Like when I got stuck behind that giraffe at the ball game. Yeah! Nice hit! Frozen rope! Awesome! What just happened? Crown rule double! Woo! I couldn't even see it. Yeah, it was something. Ducks on a pond! Let's bring him in! Could you please sit down? I am sitting down. You sit up! I am sitting up, but I still can't see a thing. Yeah, it sounds like a you problem. Let's go, Socks! Yeah, I sure do miss Lois and the kids. I'll tell you one thing. When I get home, I'm gonna sleep like a log. Hey, I'm gonna plug in the nightlight, if you don't mind. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to not do that. Look, sometimes in life, you gotta say what the hell and just go for it. I mean, that's how we won the Revolutionary War. Colonel, the British are too entrenched across the river. I've told the men we'll hold our position. Negative. Tell the men we're going across. But Colonel Goatbanger, we've... No, we need to do this. Cause for... because of... for strategy. Hey, check it out. Lemon snow. What? Yeah, that stuff's delicious. Lemon snow? You mean it just falls from the sky like that? You bet. One of nature's treats. You gonna have some? Nah, I'm already full. But you should have some before the other kids get to it. L what is it, like Italian ice? Yeah, exactly, like a sorbet. Ah, that's not lemon! No, it's not. You bastard! I was having fun playing in the snow, and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad!
Okay, four pizzas and a salad. Salad? How do you make a salad? First, you throw in the whole head of lettuce. Even the hard-to-eat white part at the bottom? That's what the people want. Now, what else? I got a can of whole black olives. Should I slice them up? What are you, crazy? No, you keep them whole. You're going to want to know you've got an olive in your mouth. What about this tomato? Cut it into thirds. It should be big enough to pretend you've got red teeth. How about this carrot? Should I cut it up? Yes, but very thin lengthwise. The whole length of the carrot. One thin slice. Okay, what else do we got? Well, we got these hot peppers, but you can't really eat them. No problem. Dump them all in. Now, should we put it in a bowl? No, let's put it in a lasagna tray. Okay, great. I'll take it. Oh, and make sure to stick it right on top of the pizza so it stays nice and warm. Hello, every pizza place. Yeah, you know, Joe, you owed his family. I didn't tell anyone about your Fiona Apple tribute video. I've been a bad, bad girl. I've been careless with a delicate man And it's a sad, sad world When a girl will break a boy just because she can I'm broken Joe, open the garage I've earned this private time It just seems to me that perhaps it's time to think about retirement Never! Retirement's for old people I can work till I die, maybe even after that Mr. Pewterschmidt, the gentlemen from Zurich are here for your 10 o'clock. Will you need anything else? Mr. Pewterschmidt. Oh, we do all kinds of crazy stuff. Sometimes we even have phone sex. Don't you mean phone sex? No, Joe, phone sex. Are you ready? You better believe it. Oh, Peter. Yeah, now your turn. And do it how I like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't wash the mouthpiece. Peter, get lost. I'm not gonna retire, and that's that. Come on, Cotter. Everybody's gotta retire at some point. Like that drill sergeant with Alzheimer's. Looks like we got a joker here. What's your name, soldier? Sir, McArdle, sir! Well, no, You look like some kind of joker to me. What's your name, soldier? Sir, McArdle, sir! Are you me? Probably some kind of joker. What's your name, soldier? Sir, McArdle, sir! Well, la de da I guess we got some kind of joker here. Yeah, have fun. Just remember not to go out into actual Florida. You don't want to meet those people. Hi, I just moved into the neighborhood, and I'm required by law to inform you that I am a sex offender. Oh, don't worry about it. So am I. This whole block is S.O.'s. We use the abbreviation S.O.'s because it saves a lot of time over saying sex offender, because that's all we talk about. Well, I'm also into football. Don't care. No time for F.B. All about S.O.